The Detroit Lions are facing the Kansas City Chiefs tonight in the most anticipated game of the season, in my opinion. We are live at the Airbnb, man, in Kansas City, just about three miles away from the stadium. This is a big deal. The Detroit Lions can do something they haven't done in five or six years, which is win the first game of the season. They also have an uh, opportunity to knock off the Super Bowl champions, Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, just a little bit about, about kind of what I expect today and what I would love to see. Went to a spot yesterday, and the waiter that was helping me at the restaurant that was uh, bringing me my food and such, he was telling me that he hopes that we beat the Kansas City Chiefs. And why? Because he can't stand the Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes' face is everywhere. He's not originally from here. And he wants to, he wants us to win. And I thought about how important it would be for this fan base. I've heard and seen a lot of things and, and people are trying to negatively talk about this game as if the Detroit Lions winning is something that is not expected. That we are not even in the, lane, the same league as the Kansas City Chiefs. And it, what's ironic about this whole thing is that not too long ago, and I'm talking about pre-Patrick Mahomes. The Chiefs were nothing. You had Trent Green. You had Joe Montana for a little while. Back in the day-day, you had Alex Smith. The Chiefs were kind of no better than the Detroit Lions and how quickly they forgot where they came from. And I think that that's where, what they're missing about the Detroit Lions. It's no matter, I, I, I promise you this, no matter how big our team gets, we will never become like the Kansas City Chiefs. We are too humble of a fan base. We have been at the bottom for much too long to ever think that much of ourselves. And I want to put a, a reminder out there to everyone that this game is, is the real deal. And if we win, let's stay humble. Let's stay humble because Dan Campbell, and now I understand. I understand what Dan Campbell was trying to teach those guys, trying to reiterate time after time, is we haven't done anything yet. We haven't done anything yet. The, the media is crowning us NFC North champions. We, I, you, the fan base, we have our expectations and what we expect them to do. And we've division home playoff game and things like that. But to the Detroit Lions, they haven't done anything. And I see that mentality. It's to keep us grounded. No matter what happens, fan base, stay grounded. Detroit Lions, because I promise you this, Dan Campbell is not going to have that on his team. He's not going to have an arrogant, big-headed uh, groups on his team. That's not going to happen. But what do I want to see today? I want to see the Detroit Lions. I want to see them contain Patrick Mahomes. Arguably the best quarterback in the league. Matter of fact, he is. I would, I would have to say it would be, at this point, Mahomes, Burrow. I'm going to put Burrow over Allen. Only because sometimes I think Burrow can, Allen can get a lot very careless with the ball. But Patrick Mahomes is at the upper echelon. You've got tiers of quarterbacks. And Patrick Mahomes might right now at this time, be in a tier of his, of his own. I would say Patrick Mahomes, Dan Burrow, Allen, maybe another guy, and then after that, it starts to get down, right? And we don't have a Patrick Mahomes, but we have a Jared Goff, and we don't need a, we don't need a Patrick Mahomes to win. See, the Chiefs have Patrick Mahomes. They may or may not be without Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey is a game-time decision. Uh, he's going to work out in... A few, he's probably doing it right now. I think it was between one and two. They're going to see if he's capable of going for today's game. But whether he can go or not, he's not going to be 100%. With that aside, no Chris Jones. He's not going to play. We wanted to know if he was going to make it, and he did not make it. He said he was ready. All he needs to do is get his raise. He gets his raise. He's out there. He's been working out twice a day. But we are literally six hours away from kickoff or five hours, seven, because I'm sitting on Eastern time. We are... On the day of kickoff, he's not playing today. Tra Travis Kelsey, I'm 95% sure he's not going to play. They're not going to risk Kelsey for the rest of the season for one game. But we have to contain Tra We have to contain Patrick Mahomes. We cannot let him gas us up the middle. When he starts scrambling, that's when he is at his most dangerous. We have to stop him, and we have to stop the role players as well. We cannot let Isaiah Pacheco kill us in the middle. We're going to see what our defense is made of. We've been waiting all offseason to see what our defense was made of. We we didn't even get a teaser, uh, even a teaser, man, in the training camp, the preseason, because they weren't out there. We know Brian Branch is a dog. We know uh, Jack Campbell is also a dog. Like, we know that there were upgrades over last year, but we haven't seen that full 
kind of complement of the defense. We know what our offense is capable of, but we haven't seen the entire the entire defense. And so all of that, I'm going to see it in real time just like you today. But we do those things, man. We can beat this team. See, this, you know I love Rocky IV. Rocky IV is probably my top three favorite movies. I know it's cheesy. I know it's corny. Corny is not a bad thing. I know it's not real, but it doesn't matter. Rocky Balboa is a fictional character. And every every time, man, he goes up against an unbeatable opponent. And most of the time, he comes out victorious. But this is a Rocky IV, if I've ever seen one. An unbeatable in being in the city. Nobody's given us a chance to win this game. If you saw the pregame show yesterday when I talked to some of the Lions fans, it was a particular one. Um, and she said that nobody has given us a chance. And when this was announced, it was like, oh, the Lions. We are a speed bump to the Kansas City Chiefs. The Kansas City Chiefs have arrived where we're trying to go. They have two Super Bowls in five years. We have no playoff wins in 30. All of that stuff, right? We can beat the Russian. Kansas City, and how fitting their colors are red and ours is blue, just like Rocky's trunks and their stuff. And I'm telling you, it's, it's tailor-made. But to win, we got to knock them out. We got to punch and punch till we can't punch anymore. This is our whole life. We win this game. We win this game. Next thing you know, they're chanting our name. We're already starting to come up through America. And it's going to be funny to see what America chooses. It's going to be funny if we're going to have a lone wolf like we had Tony Dun Dungy. Nobody gave us a chance to beat the Green Bay Packers the last game of the season in Lambeau when the Green Bay Packers were playing to go to the playoffs and we were just trying to get home and clean out our lockers. This is a big test today, with or without Chris Jones, with or without Travis Kelsey. It doesn't matter. This is the Kansas City Chiefs. And to all, all the Kansas City fans that may see this video or whatever, this is a team game. This is not what, about one person, difference maker or not. Travis, Travis Kelsey playing is a big deal. Patrick Mahomes is the team, is the team. He goes down, I'm sure, I'm sure the Detroit Lions would be the favorite in this game. So I want to see it, man. I want to see win or lose. I want to see fight. We know our team is going to fight. We never have to worry about whether they're going to fight or not. But I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to win these fights. I'm not, I don't want to win by decision. I want to knock people out. And that's, that's where we're at now. So. It's live. It's here. We're going to be having a good time. Post-game show later today, right here on this lovely couch with this lovely mirror and these lovely, and we can talk about it, man. This is a wonderful, wonderful, I've had a wonderful time meeting Lions fans. I've had a wonderful time, even the trip down here, long, <laughs> the tough drive, tough drive, 10 hours, it took me 12 hours to get here, but we're here. And uh, there's nothing more than I want than to leave that stadium the underdog, and have the Lions. We're referred to as the Lions. Have the Lions, that team, beat probably the best team in the league right now for the past five years. So we can do it. We can do it. I think we will. I think the Lions win this game. Underestimated, undervalued, underappreciated. And Dan Campbell's going to have them ready. Chiefs don't have Eric Bieniemy. We have Ben Johnson. They have a Patrick Mahomes. We have an Aiden Hutchinson, and we're going to do this thing. Our, our secondary, nobody knows, including us, what's sitting back there. Nobody knows. We know we got some dogs, but we haven't seen them dogs eat, and we're going to see that today. Remember, Patrick Mahomes has, I want to say, zero interceptions. There's some stat about Patrick Mahomes. Zero, zero interceptions on season openers or some junk like that, and he's 5-0. and oh. Anyway, it's some ridiculous stat that I think changes today. We get a pick. We get a pick. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions. I will see you at Arrowhead. Peace.